the process has failed. Time to blow it up. What's going on? Welcome back to the Below the Rim channel. I'm James, I'm 6'4 with a 6'7 wingspan and I've never dunked a basketball in my entire life. So, if you've seen the videos that I've posted to this channel so far, you'll know that I'm generally out there trying to bring innovation to the My League community, trying to bring some fresh ideas and content and trying to do stuff that other people aren't. However, sometimes I've just got to jump in and rebuild a squad based on what I'm seeing around the league and today I have to help the Sixers. I just watched them get unceremoniously swept from the playoffs by the Boston Celtics and despite the Sam Hinkie genius process that involved losing, losing and some more losing, they still haven't really been able to make it work with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. I think Brett Brown was largely to blame for a lot of that, but some of the um, questionable moves that uh, Elton Brand has made so far haven't really helped matters. So they're just in general need of some help. And I'm looking to provide that help today. Now, I think in reality, whichever coach comes in and takes the mantle from Brett Brown is going to say, yo, I've got this. Give me a year. I can make it work with Simmons and Embiid. But today I'm going to take a slightly different approach and I'm going to try and trade Joel Embiid. I think he's got a lot of value. I'd love to see him thrive somewhere else. And I want to see what Ben Simmons can do in a pace and space, kind of more open system where he's truly running the show. So that's kind of the plan. No fancy intros today. We're just going to hop right into it. Okay, so we're in the 2020 offseason and we're already at free agency where we're going to make some of our first trades. One thing that I did do in staff signing up here was I signed Mike D'Antoni. Just because I think even though Ben Simmons doesn't have the shooting ability, he'd be great in like a Mike D'Antoni fast-paced seven-second system, feeding other guys the ball and just getting out and running in transition. So I think that'd be a really interesting pickup as he is a free agent this offseason, but uh, we'll see what happens there. Also, shout out to Henry Friedman who commented on one of my other videos that I should try some uh, realistic sliders. So in this video, I'm going to try and keep it realistic in terms of the trades that I make. I want them to makes sense for both sides. I've upped the trade negotiation difficulty to 65. I normally play on all, all 50s. So yeah, I'm hoping that's going to make things more realistic. And this is going to be kind of what I think the 76ers could do feasibly in real life. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. So going into free agency here, I think we're just going to dive straight in and make the key trade, the MB trade. Okay, so I know Miami loves Bam Adebayo. I know they love him, but let's be honest, Embiid is the top center in the league. And I think, yeah, Adebayo and Hero for a real win now piece like Embiid, he doesn't need any more development. He is right there. Him and Jimmy Butler would be some crazy defense. So look, I'm never going to find a completely realistic deal for, him, for Embiid. No, I'm never going to get the right value back for him, but this is kind of the closest I could find. And I kind of like the fit. I think Bam Adebayo is going to get up the floor really quickly. Tyler Hero with Ben Simmons. I mean, think of the spacing. Simmons is going to be getting in the ball. I kind of like this trade. So I'm going to accept this. And we're going to move on to the next trade because we've got a lot more work to do. Now, another player that's been pretty discontented in his current situation is Buddy Heald. And there's been a lot of trade rooms about him. So I'm thinking, although the Tobias Harris contract is terrible, if I throw in a young piece like Thibel to replace that sort of two-guard position, Tobias Harris could start over Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes could switch to the bench. And I think given that the young piece Thibel's in a the deal, they might accept this in real life, especially since Buddy Heald literally wants out and his value's kind of low. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try this. I think Buddy Heald also fits really well with Ben Simmons. <laughs> That is the best trade feedback ever. Yeah, you're kind of right. Uh, maybe I will throw in a few seconds to sweeten the pot because, again, this Harris contract is terrible. So let's see if this pushes it through. Boom. Okay, trade two made. Now I'm going to work on something else that could be a bit ambitious, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so originally I wasn't really planning on trading Al Horford because I thought, you know, he's pretty untradeable. Then I thought, who kind of needs a big man? Like, whose who's weakness is a big man? Funnily enough, it's the Celtics. So maybe sending him home's a move. They're kind of over-talented at the wing position anyway, so Gordon Hayward might be the expendable one. We're throwing in multiple picks and a young piece to sweeten the pot because obviously Halford's con uh, Horford's contract is terrible. So yeah, this could be pretty interesting. Maybe if I take the second out, but also take Robert Williams out, that'd be more fair. Yeah, that's a lot to give up, but obviously Horford's contract's that bad that I'm okay with it. Bang. Okay, let's have a look at the roster and we'll figure out what we want to do going into free agency. Okay, so obviously Ben Simmons, we're going to keep him at the point guard position. We have quite a few shooting guards here, but Milton could probably play back up two behind Heald. Hayward and Richardson are going to be the sort of threes on the roster. I don't mind Richardson playing the threes, a really solid defender. And yeah, power forward is kind of the position that's lacking. So let's hop into free agency and see what we can find. Here he is, the savior of the 76ers, Marvin Williams. Now, honestly, boys, this is tragic. This is tragic. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Uh, let's just pick up like a Jay Crowder and trade him, I guess, because yeah, I'm really not feeling any of these mid-level exception guys right now. Yeah, no bird rights. They were kind of just like one-year guys. So we'll get through this with Jay Crowder. Man, okay, this is going to be kind of tough in terms of the power forward position. We're going to have to get creative here for sure. Uh, Livingston, yeah, there's not really much else here. Again, I'll just pick up Myers Leonard as maybe like a trade piece. I feel like I always just sign him on the minimum and trade him. But uh, yeah, sorry, Myers, you're a good streamer. I like his Twitch streams. Okay, training camp time. Uh, I think, let's see if there's anyone I want to give untapped potential to on this squad. I think actually it's a pretty veteran squad, but uh, Tyler Hero will definitely boost him up. 
then I kind of fancy sending perimeter defense to someone like Buddy Heald. He's probably not the best defender in this game. And outside of that, not really sure what else I want to do here, to be honest. Maybe Bam at a bio to untap potential. Yeah, that's probably the move. We need to get him as close to Embiid's level as possible because Embiid's going to be out there dominating with the heat. So, all right, I'm going to move to next season, check out the rotation, see if there's any final little trades around the edges we want to make before season number one. Okay, so here's a rotation right now. And obviously you'll notice Myers Leonard is starting, so we need to address that. I also think Richardson and Hero are playing basically the same position. So I might start by packaging Leonard and Richardson in some sort of realistic trade for a starting power forward. So yeah, we'll try that first and then we'll have a few more tweaks to make around the bench and then we should be good to go. Okay, so I found this trade. I think Aaron Gordon, uh, there's been some trade rumors about him. So I put in Josh Richardson. I actually threw in Jay Crowder, an unprotected first, which I think is the reason why the Magic would do this in real life, plus three more firsts. So they're getting a lot of draft capital for a guy that they're looking to trade anyway. They're getting Josh Richardson, who's a really serviceable piece, and they're getting Jay Crowder. Let's see if this goes through. It does. Perfect. All right. Let's see if there's any final tweaks we want to make because I think the bench is still looking really imbalanced. Yeah, it's kind of not looking great on the bench. So we definitely need to make a few more tweaks and we'll be finally good to go for season number one. Taco fall. Oh, man. For Greg Monroe and a first... I shouldn't be giving up a first round pick for Taco, but hey, I love the guy. I love the guy. We're bringing in Taco. We're bringing in Taco. Job done. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so here's a rotation going into the first year. We've got Simmons healed, Hayward, and then Gordon with Adebayo locking down a defensive anchor position at the center, playing that Joel Embiid role, but he's going to be getting up and down the floor a lot quicker. We've got Tyler Hero, Myers Leonard, Shape Milton, and Taco fall off the bench. So not the most talented bench, but I think Hero is going to be an amazing sixth man that will fit well with Ben Simmons. Taco fall is obviously the GOAT. And then, yeah, again, not the strongest positions here, but they're not playing huge minutes anyway. Anyway, and I think this is still at least a 55 win team that can contend. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Also, should mention, I actually made Ben Simmons the number one scoring option. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I want to see how many points he could put up. Healed and Adebayo is the other ones. And I think I've built a pretty good team for D'Antoni as well. We've got four-star system fit. Gordon's the only one that doesn't fit it too well. So if he doesn't form this season, maybe we'll uh, look to trade him in the offseason. But for now, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, give me Elton Brand's job right now. 63-9. and nine. Obviously, we didn't make any like huge blockbuster moves other than the Embiid trade, which is probably the only one that was slightly unrealistic just because how much the Heat love Bam Adebayo and Tyler Hero. Everything else is pretty low key, just putting the right pieces around Simmons and it's clearly worked. So yeah, I'm hyped. I think we got a chance to compete for the chip in the first season. Yanis wins MVP, James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year, Schroeder. They're kind of all the normal guys. Jar Moran most improved with 31 and eight. Go for it, Jar, do your thing. Uh, first team here, we have Joel Embiid on the Miami Heat. Good to see him doing well. I told you he could thrive somewhere else. Uh, what else have we got here? So all NBA second team. Ben Simmons, there you go. So it unlocks Ben Simmons. Both of them have thrived apart from each other. So far, I'd say all, like, so far, so good. Uh, third team, okay, let's get through this. What, oh, I think we had, uh, yeah, Ben Simmons makes a defensive team as well, does he? Let's have a look. Yeah, Ben Simmons, all defensive first team. So he's clearly killing it. Let's have a look at the player stats. So season stats, we got Ben Simmons average 29, 7, and 9. What did I say? Move Embiid, build around him, superstar. Buddy Hield was a great fit on this team, 45% from the field, but I'm sure that was a really high three-point percentage. Yeah, 41% from downtown, which we love. 18 and a half, 11 and 1.6 from Bam Adebayo. That's a great season. Gordon Hayward, I don't need to trade him. That is an amazing stat line for him. 15, 7, really just fit in. Got some assists as well. Steals, so he's playing some defense. And okay, he still can't really shoot threes very well, but that's fine. Hayward did his job. I love the facilitating and a 4.6 assist. Tyler Hero off the bench with 14 points per game, 48% from the field and 44% from downtown. That's massive. Shake Milton, Myers Leonard, Taco Fall. He was probably the main reason behind our success there with 2.5, 3.5 and half a block a game in only 10 minutes a night. So yeah, big wins. Now I'm going to see what the other guys did. I want to see how the trades worked out on the other side of things. Embiid killed it. 27, 15, 2.6. He's basically an MVP candidate. I'd say that worked out well for both sides. Harris just did a harris -y sort of mediocre harris -y thing. So yeah, Tobias, good job. Holford was kind of trash. That's my bad. I think I forgot to move Holford back to the center position, so he probably had to come off the bench uh, behind Tatum, which was an ideal. So, uh, yeah, we'll just forget we saw that. Okay, so here in round number one, we've got the Indiana Pacers. Let's have a look at their squad. Pretty much the same guys. I think we can uh, pretty much get them out of the way. Hopefully, that won't be too dramatic. Let's go. I've said that too many times before, and it's not worked out well. So, 2-0. Perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. It looks like we're going to have a tough match. Oh, we need the Embiid Revenge Series. I need Miami to win. Come on, pull it back, Miami. Pull it back. Ah, it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. All right, Toronto. Toronto. Carl Lowry, Norman Powell. Where's Van Vliet? Ooh, they don't have Van Vliet anymore. Interesting. Okay. 
Still a pretty solid squad. Hassan Whiteside's an interesting pickup for them. Probably an upgrade over Mark Gasol, I think they had. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's see what we can do against the Raptors. Hopefully another easy series. I don't know. Oh, man, this team. I'm loving this team. I'm, imagine this team in real life. Buddy Hill, Gordon Hayward on the wings. Ben Simmons getting in the ball. Adebayo running the floor like a good... I just completely tuned out to what was happening there and we almost got beat. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Milwaukee Bucks, genuinely scared. I mean, yeah, they're the Bucks. They're really, really good and their defense is strong. Uh, power forward wise, obviously we've got Aaron Gordon on Yanis right now. So uh, I might jump into the game plan quickly and set up some matchups because that is not going to fly. So... I'm just going to put Bam on Yanis. That's all I want to make sure happens. I think everything else is kind of cool. Okay, let's jump into the series, see what we can do here. Simulate round one. Okay, one all is always going to be a tough series. Two, one, three, one. Let's go. Okay, perfect. I'm really happy with how we've rebuilt this team, guys. This is beautiful. Okay, so we've got the battle of the red, white, and blues in the finals. The Clippers, another great squad. Yeah, they're as intimidating as they are in real life. Let me jump into the matchups for these guys as well, actually, because this is going to get a little bit complex as well, I think. So we'll put Simmons on Kawhi. I think that's what we need to worry about. Everything else can kind of figure itself out. And let's see how we go. Simulate round. One, two. Oh, my God. Boom. There we go. Ben Simmons wins finals MVP. And yeah, in the closeout game, he stamped himself on it. 33, 11, 12, 2, and 1. Buddy Hill balling out. Bam. This is a beautiful squad. I'd love to see this squad in real life. I think something like this is achievable with the assets that they have. And yeah, I'm hyped about this. Well, I'm going to cut it at one season now. I think that's all we need to see. Okay, so given that the main aim of that video is basically to trade Joel Embiid and build around Ben Simmons so he can become the superstar of his own team and system, I'd say that went to script. Him and Dan Tony were clearly a match made in heaven. I like some of the moves you made around the edges. I think most of it was pretty realistic. Maybe the ban trade was a little bit far-fetched, but let me know, who would you trade Joel Embiid for? Who would you build around Ben Simmons with? And do you think what I built made sense? And other than that, please like the video if you like the video. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. And yeah, keep an eye out for future content. That's all I've got to say. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.